Any books specifically for funny, bizarre, or otherwise wacky instances which happened in wars? The Home Guard of Britain by Charles Graves contains some funny and serious shit. One man noted for his slowness is grasping a subject. After having fired his first dummy number 36 grenade from this charger, in all sincerity looked quite aghast when he could not find the grenade in this charger after firing same. Furthermore, on being asked to return to his empty case, the list type said, I can it, as I've just fired it. On an exercise, I asked a man guarding a closed road what his job was. He said he didn't know. The following then took place. Who put you here? Don't know, sir. Who is your platoon sergeant? Don't know, sir. Who is your platoon officer? Don't know, sir. Who is your company commander? Don't know, sir. Who am I? Don't know, sir. How long have you been in the company? Three months, sir. How often do you drill? Five nights a week, sir. He was discharged later as mentally deficient. One night in 1941, P.T.E.R. Brown, aged 18, was a member of the guard at a works in the district. A heavy raid occurred at about 9 p.m. A message was telephoned to the works calling for Brown because of serious trouble at his home. Brown asked for and received permission to be relieved from the NCO of the guard. On reaching his home, the private found that both of his parents had been killed and his sister seriously injured by a direct hit. He assisted in disposing of the casualties and collected what few valuables he could from the wreckage of his home. These tasks completed, he returned to duty without delay, reporting back to the NCO of the guard. He completed his normal guard duties for the remainder of the night in spite of the considerable numbing shock he had received. Another volunteer, an old man wearing an ancient uniform of the Great War and carrying a Ross rifle, a relic of the same, was challenged on how he would deal with the Hun paratrooper. He responded by chambering a single cartridge and shooting a crow flying overhead. Exit questioner and crow. The former abashed, the latter bashed. The scene was the orderly room at B Company's HQ of the 23rd Battalion. A woman walked in and demanded to see the OC. This she was allowed to do, and she said that she had come to see him about her husband. Madam, explained the OC, your husband has to do his parades and guard duty like every other member of the company. I am quite sure of that, was the woman's reply. What I have come to see you about is to try and get you to make him do more parades and guards. Another story is told by a sergeant major who is giving a demonstration of double A fire. He told his platoon they would have better results if they waited until the dive bomber got within at least 1,000 feet from the ground. Would it be advisable to fix bayonets? was one of the first questions directed at him. The sergeant major, for the first time in his life, was struck speechless. You can't make this shit up. It's like K, but 90 years ago. Alas, this is not an easy book to find. The Hinge Factor, How Chance and Stupidity Have Changed History by Eric Dershmead. Spike Milligan's books on World War II. Later in life, he was a radio DJ and entertainer was a gunner in the British Army and wrote some hilarious shit about his war experience. Even his book titles are top keck. Mussolini, his part in my downfall. Excerpt, a voice is calling across the land. Bombardier Milligan, Bombardier Milligan is dead. I replied in a disguised voice. The voice replied that he's going to miss his breakfast.